Welcome to Impact Uganda. I'm your host, Victoria Sibi, and today we shine a light on the remarkable initiatives making a difference across our nation. We're diving into the Heroes of Health Awards, or HIHA, which is set to highlight the unsung heroes in our health sector. This year's theme, Health Workforce Financing to Achieve Universal Health Coverage, underscores a critical issue in Uganda's healthcare system. So stay with us as we explore how HIHA is celebrating those driving transformative change in health workforce development. Student Innovation Award, nominee Deogracias de la Frique. Deogracias de la Frique is spearheading efforts to transform the healthcare system. When I joined Mbara University of Science and Technology, uh, we were oriented by Professor Ogwang, uh, the, the gentleman of COVID-19. And yes, he really told us about his entire journey of innovation and, you know, uh, the journey to do with herbal medication and preparation. And I was really inspired by one thing that he told us about uh, one of his products that is an anti-malarial uh, product. And he told us about how much money he was making from this uh, project. And I really saw it and I thought, Yes, uh, this was the way to go. I knew uh, that uh, I, w what I had back at home, what I had in mind back at home was really the right way. And so with that uh, journey, I kept on being inspired by uh, the people and the stakeholders in the pharmaceutical sector, the Professor Wang, and, and even COVID, during COVID time, I think I was even more inspired when he came up with that product, uh, COVID -X. I saw myself uh, coming from yes, a uh, 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 district like Kole, and yes, Professor Guang also comes from not really that well-known place. And I was like, if Professor Guang can do this, then I'm also able to come up with some project that is really going to impact in the lives of people deep down in the community. So uh, right from when we started this project, because uh, I would say uh, since it was something personal to me and I actually lost a niece to these uh, complications of prematurity, I felt like the need to impact many lives as possible. So it is what always has driven me to work hard. Even when we did not have funding, we kept on innovating, we kept on thinking of ways of how we can modify our product of how we can improve on the current kangaroo mother care practices and make better, uh, better careers that mothers can use for these things. So because we have always been persistent, it has driven us, like uh, even though we, do not, we did not have funding initially, but the initial passion that we have, we had then is what has always been pushing us forward. And uh, our first, uh, our first win came around 2022, around, um, around May, when we got recognition from Total Energies as the best business innovation idea and uh, the startup of the year project. So that was a, a stepping stone for us in that field because it enabled us to now start uh, the process of uh, bringing this idea to life just from an idea to eventually build in a prototype. Being uh, a HIHA awardee, a 2022 student innovation here, HIHA awardee, initially I, I actually never thought I would win it because uh, I was in fifth year by then and a friend reached out to me and told me I have seen the things that you've been doing and I think that it has a lot of in impact in the community and I feel like you need to be recognized for it. She nominated me and a few other friends nominated me so I did not think that I would actually win it only to be surprised that I was chosen among the best three nominees and then on that day I actually won the award and it was a, a life-changing moment for me because it gave me a lot of visibility and credibility in the work that we have been doing and it has since then enabled us to actually win more other competitions, not only in Uganda, we have been able to win other competition, competitions and grants from countries like US, the UK, we have partners in other countries that we are currently working with to ensure that we have this project move forward. 
Now, uh, strategic collaborations really play, uh, play a, a crucial role in strengthening the health sector, most especially in Uganda. One, uh, there's always that bit of uh, sharing knowledge, uh, resources, and, and expertise. Uh, I'm still going to talk about uh, this project. Uh, when we got our uh, collaborators, we have quite a number of uh, uh, collaborators in this project. Uh, there's one called Camtech Uganda, still by Mbara University of Science and Technology. These people were able to really provide us with uh, all, every kind of mentor that we needed to make sure that this project really comes out. And so uh, when there's always that uh, collaboration, there's sharing of knowledge uh, within the profession, uh, the sharing of uh, resources, for example, uh, labs, and then it also brings about other funding opportunities, for example, the one that I just talked about. The, the, the best advice I would give someone is follow your dreams, follow your passion. If you know that it's going to impact many people's lives, please follow it because uh, then other people will start believing in that vision. And for you to be able to do that, you need to have a clear path. You should not, always, you should not stray away from where you, you, see, you see yourself in the next five years' time, in the next 10 years' time. So always follow your dreams. Uh, there's something that is very unique about us. We always want to make money the quick way. But uh, if you have chosen to take this innovation path, then it will call for, you know, persistence, perseverance. Uh, frankly, I didn't know about HIHA. We could hear, I mean, like all, all initiatives which come, we had Heroes in Health Awards. And at that time, we didn't know how it works, who does it. When does it come? And as often, I think, we in this country are not very good at, at listening to media and following up keenly on media. But when we were invited and we were asked that we had been nominated for the HIHA Awards in 2000, then we started questioning ourselves and saying, what is HIHA? That's when we understood that it's uh, an effort to recognize health workers, institutions that make a difference in terms of supporting the healthcare systems in our, in our country. So we took a bit of deeper interest. We, as an organization, we won an award. And in addition, the next year, he, her organizers requested us to support the initiative. And we came in handy, I think, two or one year later, we were able to provide some assistance to make sure that this recognition for health workers, for health services, for institutions that contribute towards health in this country is upheld. So that's how we really got involved. I think one of the critical one, which I was uh, highly and also surprised that it happened, was the recognition of the teachers, the people who teach medicine. When we got to study medicine, all the skills that I learned in medical school was because I was taught by the teacher. And in our profession, we are taught that your teacher is actually the most important person when you graduate. And when you take the oath, you also swear allegiance to your teachers and to pay. Now, the He Awards has a section which not only recognizes service to humanity, but also recognizes the teachers. Those professors who taught us medicine, they are invaluable. And getting the community and recognizing health workers through the appreciation of the community, I think it's a more rewarding and fulfilling thing. And then it will bring awareness of the precarious nature and the requirement of our health service system in the country to the fore. Because it's independent, it's not a political thing, it has nothing to do with any, any party, it has nothing to do with the minister or the PS, but it's the community itself which recognizes the service that health workers or health institutions offer to them and they say this person is good. So the HEHA platform has enabled that engagement with the community. Most time we talk about community involvement, community engagement, and it's not so clear, but this is straightforward. They nominate, they have an independent team which selects the winners, and so it has nothing to do even with the organizers. 
health is not only housed in the Minister of Health, but it is for the whole country. So if you have the Vice President, you have the Minister herself, or you have the Speaker of Parliament getting involved, I think that promotes the value of health in our country and the health service. And they need to recognize those who participate in ensuring good health for this country. Before we delve a little deeper into HIHA's impact, let's take a moment to reflect on why investing in our health workforce is crucial. With a growing need for skilled professionals and effective management, the Heroes in Health Awards aims to spotlight those making a difference. We'll return with more on how these awards are setting the stage for a healthier future. Don't go away. The Ministry of Health uh, is working towards improving the remuneration welfare of its human resources. And as part of this effort, we partnered with Extraordinary Media, a private entity in a private-public partnerships, and we groomed and harnessed this idea of the Heroes in Health Awards. And what was it meant for? is to reward and rec uh, recognize individuals, institutions, organizations, and products that are contributing to the health care and saving of lives. And these awards are meant to celebrate this extraordinary contribution by these individuals, institutions, organizations, and innovative pr uh, products that come out of these uh, efforts by the various players in the health sector. We have had uh, outstanding health workers, and this was meant really to mainly inspire excellence amidst challenges, it was meant to harness and foster partnerships and also drawing the conversation on the key challenges and how they can be solved and addressed. And this is with the main goal of building a resilient health system for Uganda. So we have seen a number of uh, achievements come out of these Heroes in Health Awards. The, the past winners, some of them have got an opportunity for scholarship, for grants, as a result of the visibility uh, given to them by this important award, uh, which has become a household name. Next Media Services is a big boost uh, for these Heroes in Health Awards, and they have been partnering with us even with uh, the past edition. But this time they came in big, we even bringing on board other members of the Media Alliance who have made their platforms available, both uh, print, broadcast, digital, to ensure that the message for about these health, uh, Heroes in Health Award is spread up to the grassroots. The fifth edition brings three new categories, uh, which include the Mental Health Award. We are aware that the burden of mental health has been silent, but has been affecting many families and lives. Another category is on the Academic Excellence Award uh, within the health sector space. We have a lot of researchers, uh, academicians who spend their time to research on the public health problems and also generally about the health care delivery in the country. And also this category is equally important to inspire and motivate those uh, researchers who burn the midnight candle to ensure that we have improvements in the health delivery in the country. We also have uh, the diaspora 
uh, initiative award. And this also will recognize those outstanding entities in the diaspora. They might be international uh, organizations, uh, they might be individuals who are doing um, excellent work, and this is also an opportunity to include them on the category as a new category of the awards. As we wrap up today's episode, we've seen how the Heroes in Health Awards 2024 is spotlighting the critical issue of health workforce financing from celebrating outstanding achievements to addressing systematic challenges. HIHA is paving the way for a stronger, more resilient healthcare system in Uganda. Thank you for joining us today on Impact Uganda. I'm your host, Victoria Sevilla, and for me, goodbye and God bless. Now to nominate, visit www.hihaawards.com forward slash nominations to spotlight your heroes or even easier, send your video nominations via WhatsApp to plus 256-762-199-227. Just grab your phone, record a short energetic video nominating your health hero and send it our way. Nominations close September 10th, 2024. The Heroes in Health Awards are brought to you by the Ministry of Health and Nominate your heroes today and be a part of this transformative journey towards a healthier Uganda.